it was way too cold in Illinois, so I had to leave, and now I'm back here in Florida. I can't believe this. I don't think I've been to Florida so many times before in my life. I was here, what was that, four days ago, fishing in saltwater with Josh, and then now I'm here again. Gonna be doing some more fishing, only it's not gonna be with Josh, or it's gonna be saltwater. It's gonna be something entirely different. Yo, uh, quick question, and I'm just curious. You, you didn't happen to book a hotel, did you? I did not. We're winging it. Classic. Real classic. Thanks, have a good one. Let's go, let's go one, that way? Thanks. Holy smokes. So I got a, I got a rental car, which is huge, which is really good. One step down, now I was just told to basically pick out any car from zone one. All right, I got a rental car. I picked out the uh, Dodge Charger X SXT. This thing is sick. <laughs> I'm like heavily feeling this vehicle right now. This thing is actually pretty freaking sick, I'm not gonna lie. The thing is like I had the choice between this and like a Kia Sorento and like a bunch of others. So I was like, why would I why would I take those when this is the same price? Like they just didn't make any sense to me. So so the good news is I got the whole rental car thing figured out. But here's the bad news. I just get this text from Chris saying, All right, so they spilled gas or something at the gate, so we have to wait until they clean it up before we can leave the plane. He said dope start. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Yo. Yo, what's the deal, yo? What's what's going on? I, I don't know why I said deal, yo. Where we were supposed to get off of the plane, but where everyone's starting to get up now, they're taxiing over to Okay. Us. God, dude, are, why are people screaming? It sounds like people are screaming into your phone. I can't really hear you that well either. Yeah, it sounds like a freaking zoo. Chris! Yo, I've never been more lost in my life this well, buddy. Uh, mileage is 200 and, or 23,722. Well, oh, hold on, hold on. 23,772. Oh, you just thought you just didn't make it short. Yeah, my bad. About 23,772, yeah. Right. I don't know why I had a hard time saying that. Probably because I dropped out of college. I right, was recording. Oh, it's, oh was, yeah. that my, was that my exit? No. No, you stay in the left. On yeah. the left lane? This is right. I thought there was an exit. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Where the hell is the. Okay, so I don't know where the windshield wiper is to this car, and it's rain. That's the turn signal. That's the. I just flashed someone. Keep left for. I just flashed someone again. Get in the oh. far left lane. Coral what? Coral Gables. The U. Gabe's Coral. And that's right near the uh, Miami University. That should be a great place to be productive. We're probably gonna get nothing done tonight. Yeah. So we got about an hour. Are you freaking serious? An hour drive? Yeah. So we're good to go. I just told Chris to pick up the camera for literally no reason. Yeah. And I looked I at the out. screen and I was like filming half your face for the first like. That's five fine. Seconds, as long as so. we're getting the audio. The audio is really key. We just need sound bites, Chris. Great. This whole trip's gonna be sound bites. Want me to get some sick B roll of the dark clouds and rain? <laughs> yeah, throw the drone up, dude. Say that again and act like the camera's not on. Act like the camera. So, <laughs> we can pop over two minutes to the Holiday Inn. We could cruise on down over here and either go Hampton, Miami Marriott. Dude, that's that's got a shadow. That's a big building. Like top floor living? Oh, That's yeah. how it's kind of do? Oh yeah. And then we got Miami Dave. We're about, to, we're about to rule Miami, bro. <laughs> All right, do that. Let's do that one. Take me there. This? Yeah, I'm gonna let you just surprise me. That's where we're going. 11 minutes. Starting route to Miami Dave. Hey. Hey. Where are we at? Miami Dave Mall. We got that hotel. We got that car. Now we're just gonna now we're just gonna chill, we're gonna kick it. We didn't really plan on doing anything today other than maybe like, like we ate. I dropped my camera, it's kind of broken, but whatever. At least I didn't fly my drone into the uh, great Ever <laughs> Everglades. <laughs> it's just, yeah, every time, I, every time I like almost or kind of, or like completely break something, I always think about all the tough hardships a has to go through and it makes my day seem a lot better. But the reason why I turned the camera off is because we found a hotel. This place is actually pretty sick. It's like new age hip, perfect for a bunch of, Couple of young guys like us. I don't know why I said that. That sounds really weird. It's like a trippy hotel. Actually, I don't know. Oh, she put us on the sixth floor. Did she? She's so nice. Shut up, man. Had a little John Peter thing. Did you see that? Oh, what's that? You going up? 
Okay. Is this going down? No, it's going up. Dude, that guy totally killed my dope. Elevator <laughs> closing scene. Know. Just murdered it. Oh, dude, this is sick. Look at the lights and stuff. Do you have the keys? What do I do with this? Well, here they are. What room are we? The lights don't turn on. Oh, there we go. There's like no freaking lights though. That turns on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Wow, what's, what's wrong? The TV's not turning on. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the bathroom. First off, we got, uh, we've got some soap and then some cups. This right here is the walk-in toilet. Uh, right here is the bidet. Water comes out. It's pretty sick. It's kind of high up for a bidet, but I'm I'm assuming that's what that is. We've got the sink, and then over here is what I'm assuming is like the shower, kind of like where you where you wash and stuff like that. You pull up on this lever, and water comes out. Yeah, this is kind of what you expect in a fancy hotel. I've only been to a few, so I'm not an ex not an expert, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, but check this out. This hotel is so fancy they don't have doors, they just have sliding panels of glass that are broken and don't go completely. Okay, well. I want a refund. TV's not working? It doesn't turn on. Maybe it's just like for looks. It's Honestly, like aesthetics. They know like those TVs in Ikea, they don't actually work. It's, it's, it's a part of those new fancy hotels that don't have working TVs. Oh, the alarm clock too. Check out the alarm clock. Yeah. Everything in here is just new. It smells like, did you smell that? It smells like beer. Are you drinking beer, Chris? Actually, I was actually gonna say it smells like weed. We are in Miami, so it's not much of a surprise. Boom, there's my city. We're out here on the sixth floor. <laughs> in all seriousness, this is just a regular hotel. I don't know why I'm hyping this up. Chris is gonna work on the TV, and I'm gonna take a quick moment to tell you guys and talk to you guys about why we are here in Southern Florida. Okay. This right here is the reason why Chris and I are here in Miami. Peacock bass have been a fish that has kind of been stuck on my bucket list for quite some time. This year has been like one of the best years to knock out some like childhood dream fish catches like white sturgeon, shark, big pike. I've always wanted to catch a big pike. I did that with Aaron Weave. The point is, is I've, I've knocked off a lot of bucket list fish this year, but the one I have yet to cross off my list is that guy right here. This guy is the butterfly peacock bass. Just lean back for a second, because I'm gonna I'm gonna inform you guys as to why these fish are here in the States. So those of you who don't know, these guys are not supposed to be here. They're non-native fish here in Florida in the United States. So the main reason why these peacock bass are here in South Florida is because of the fact that there has been an overgrowth, an overpopulation of unwanted non-native fish species around here, like spotted tilapia, a bunch of different types of cichlids, and they're here because people like to put things that don't belong in local canals and lakes and ponds and things like that. They're grown all over the place. I mean, there's like placos, like these kind of fish. These things are not supposed to be here, but they're here. So the only way that the FWC, right? That's FWC, correct? Yep have been able to regulate the unwanted non-native is introducing more non-natives, that being the peacock bass. And the peacock bass, in their natural habitat, eat tilapia and other cichlids. So that's kind of the reason why they're here. So tomorrow, Chris and I are going with an individual named Scott Rhodes. He's got his own guide service and he's gonna take us out. He watches both of our videos. He's a huge fan of what we do and he's invited us down here. So that's what we're doing. We're down here fishing for, yes, peacock bass. In case you're wondering, they're not even closely related to largemouth or smallmouth bass, even though they have bass at the end of their name. I think they're actually more closely related to cichlids, believe it or not. They're very cool fish. I mean, who would not want to catch one of these things? They're just so pretty. I know this vlog wasn't uh, wasn't as bomb as some of the other ones out there, especially my last one. My last one was freaking garbage. Today was just a kickback vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow, we're going to be ripping lips with some big old peacock, <laughs> peacock bass. All right, thanks for watching. And as always, keep fishing, never stop. To be honest, okay, to be quite honest, I just kind of grabbed things and threw them out. Like, like you're just supposed to just put, like, why is I, it so far out? 
That's what I want to know. Because I was just, I was like playing Legos with the mouse. 